Mary Poppins Returns is the sequel to Mary Poppins, the iconic Disney film which came out in 1964. This is written and directed by Rob Marshall and stars Emily Blunt as Mary Poppins. It also features Lin-Manuel Miranda, Ben Wishaw, Emily Mortimer, Julie Walters, Colin Firth and Meryl Streep. This time around, the magical and mysterious nanny returns to the Banks household after Michael Banks, played by Ben Wishaw, faces financial troubles. The Banks are about to lose their mansion, which is to be reclaimed by the local bank. Jane Banks, played by Emily Mortimer, tries to help her brother Michael and his family. Now, it's easy to wonder why a sequel was needed almost 50 years later, but the recent resurgence of musicals makes this the best time to revive this beloved character. The biggest concern for fans of the original would be if Mary Poppins could retain her magical touch. In that aspect, Emily Blunt is perfectly cast. She doesn't try to imitate Julie Andrews in any way, but instead adds her own charm to the character. She can also sing and dance really well, so at least the title role is taken care of. The film follows an older style of storytelling as the characters break into song and dance at the probable drop of a hat. And the songs are fun to watch, but the problem is that none of the tunes stick in your head. So by the time you reach the fourth or fifth song, it starts to get a little tedious, which only adds up eventually towards the end of the film. It certainly helps that the entire cast is charming, even with a relatively pointless appearance by Meryl Streep, which can be called a cameo at best. She performs one song and she is gone. The animation is also a throwback to old school Disney, which is delightful, but that does very little for the story as it were. This turned out to be my biggest issue with Mary Poppins Returns. The entire cast is more than capable and talented across the board, but they feel mostly wasted in a lukewarm story by Rob Marshall. Yes, the whole song and dance routine is great to look at and tremendously nostalgic for someone like me who grew up on these kind of films as a kid. I'll admit that I even teared up a little when one of the original cast members showed up eventually. But I'm going with three and a half stars for Mary Poppins Returns. The casting is almost perfect with Emily Blunt proving yet again that she's one of the best actors currently working. There are oodles of charm throughout, but there's not much lasting quality to the film, at least not for anyone older than 10. Guys, what did you think about Mary Poppins Returns? Let me know in the comments and keep watching It's Entertainment only on Mirror Now, you first.